So here we are again, Sean. We had another excellent session uh, yesterday, the second in our series around caring and it's linked to leadership. Um, this time we talked about, um, are you responsible for designing a system that cares? And we, we broke that down into three sections. And firstly, systemic caring and that process. Do you want to just chat a bit about that? Yeah, look, one of, one of the things I work through with clients is that once you're, once you're running an organization, you're not just responsible for being in a system and working it well. You're responsible for the design of it. Mm. What's been emerging after COVID is that caring makes a real difference, but it's, a, it's not enough just to have a warm-hearted feeling towards people. Mm. Um, if it's not reflected in the way the whole system feels to people who encounter it, then you're, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, and if then, then it sort of led on to the secondary, which is around if the system's not caring, and that was quite a good conversation, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, people reacted well to that <laughs> because we've all experienced sy systems where we've had to provide our details four times, or it just feels like they don't care. We're made to wait on the phone too long, you know, um, and so it actually destroys value. Um, but also within teams and within the organisation itself, if it's not caring it actually causes people to leave. It's actually genuinely expensive. So this notion of having to find metrics for caring um, is really important, but you can quite easily find a metric for what happens when you don't care. Yeah, it's definitely. very expensive. Yeah. And then the third section we talked about was around reputation. Yeah, well, re reputation is one of the key assets of an organization. It's, it's what makes doing business easier, mm -hmm. but it's also an asset of the CEO and the executive team. And a reputation for not caring will not go well in the future. There were several comments to the effect that we're seeing a gap develop between leaders who feel like they're the leaders who are able to be vulnerable, who genuinely care, who understand the impact of caring and the value of caring. Um, the gap between those and those who don't get the message is the gap between the leaders of the future and the leaders of the past. Yeah, that was my takeaway from it all. It feels like really this is quite a moment of change um, for leadership, I think, and uh, around these areas. Would you agree? Yeah, especially, you know, the uncertainty yeah. feels like it's going to be a, a constant rather than a sudden one-off yeah. shock. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, we need people who are able to handle the emotional anxiety and the, the, the waves that are going to pass over us over the next few years. Yeah, absolutely. Well, another great session. So thanks again. Enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, Steve. Okay.